I got to have this on to tell me how deep I am. You never know what you're going to find when you come down there. You never know what you're going to see. The fish you see, the, the stuff you can find, it's, it's kind of like a little treasure hunt out on the lake. A Yeti cup, Yeti can holder. Most of us will experience it at least once in our lives. You lose a phone. 140 foot of water, zero visibility. Keys, sunglasses, or even a wedding ring in the lake. Items that seem to be lost forever turn into a treasure hunt for one local Northwest Arkansas man. Welcome to Robert Suki's underwater office, better known as Beaver Lake. someone drops something or loses something in the water they either call me or message me on Facebook and uh, they'll give me the best coordinates they can uh, pin drop or dock or something they're tied up to and I'll go out and put my gear on and see if I can find it while clear sunny days are most ideal for diving our Kansans know how fast the weather can change and that's when Robert's skills and patience are key if it's zero visibility, like a lot of murk or silt in the water that's stirred up for whatever reason, it's all feel from there. You can't see anything. You just got to lay on the bottom basically and just move your hands back and forth and hope you don't grab onto a turtle or something. So you may be wondering, what does it cost to hire someone to search for your lost items? Well, there's no specific charge. If you can't afford it, you know, just let me know and I'll, I'll go down and see if I can find it. If I find it, it's great. You get your memories back and that's about all. Okay. So, but if you feel like it's worth something, then you can pay me and I'm fine with that too. From lost treasures to childhood memories, Robert's passion for diving goes back 26 years. My dad got us our dive certifications and we were always scuba diving every summer around our docks and stuff, uh, messing around with brush piles, spearfishing a lot on the lake and uh, then the last few years everyone's been asking for people to recover stuff and thought well why not try because it's fun and helps people out when I, they need something. Diving in Beaver Lake is no easy task but Robert says it's what he loves to do and there's no better feeling than after finding someone's lost item. I love it. It's, it's like finding a hidden treasure. I, I get super excited coming up screaming and yelling and hollering that I found something. I, I love finding things. Thanks to Robert, dozens of recoveries are made every summer at Beaver Lake. He's already teaching his own kids how to scuba dive in Beaver Lake so they too can experience many treasure hunts in his underwater office. On Beaver Lake, I'm Majestic Storm 4029 News. <laughs> Pretty cool story there. Yeah. So Robert says depending on the recovery item, doing the recovery can range from 50 to hundreds of dollars. I mean, probably depends on how much time it takes him to find it, as he mentioned. Right. He also made it clear that it isn't about the money. It's what's most important to him, that he can just help the people out in his community. It does help when you find some Especially those those personal things right. like jewelry or wedding ring. Yeah. I mean, sometimes there's no price. You can that. replace a cell phone, but yeah, memorabilia, definitely yeah. more important. All right.